Okay, for today's video, I'm going to get straight to the point. Today, I will be reviewing a lens that was loaned to me by Fujifilm a few weeks ago. And it is this newly launched 33mm f1.4. Full disclosure, Fuji did get in touch with me Hello. to loan me this lens. However, I'm in no shape or form sponsored by them. So I'll definitely say whatever I want to say in this video. And they definitely don't have any say of what I'm going to say in this video. In fact, the first time that this video will be published will be the exact first time that they are actually going to view it. So yeah, so definitely rest assured. I'm definitely going to be as unbiased as I possibly can. And for those of you who are used to watching my reviews, you guys do know that I definitely don't do those pixel PP kind of videos and I don't do charts and stuff like that. It's just a review based on my experiences using the lens and with a few sample images. So I don't really go into the details. So if that does tick the boxes in your box list, then yeah, this review is definitely for you. Okay, so let's first talk about the build quality of the Fuji 33mm f1.4. As you would expect from any Fuji products, the build quality of the Fuji 33mm f1.4 is definitely really good and leaves little to be desired. The focus ring and the aperture ring feels really good to the touch, although I would have preferred if it did feel just a little bit notchy, but yeah, it's fine. Also, this lens is fully weather sealed too, so you don't have to worry if you suddenly get caught up in the rain and yeah you don't have to worry about that okay so let's first briefly go over the specs this lens weighs around 360 grams so it is about the same weight as the Fuji kit lens and it shares the same filter size of 58 millimeters this lens is constructed using 15 elements in 10 groups and it has nine rounded aperture blades at its widest this lens opens up to f 1.4 but I guess you guys knew that already and it can be closed down to f 16. There's definitely no image stabilization on this lens, so yeah, I guess you're on your own. Unless, of course, you do have an image stabilized body. In terms of closest focusing distance, this lens does about 30 centimeters, which is quite nice because you can get some nice detailed shots with this lens, and I like that. Okay, going over to usability and experience. In terms of usability and experience using this lens, I would say it was pretty much the same like using any other Fuji lenses. The lens has really good autofocus and it does really hold on to focusing really well, especially if you're using eye autofocus with this lens. It just locks onto the eye quite well. And I love the fact that this lens is so quiet in video mode when you're focusing. You don't really hear the motors doing any noise or any funny sounds like that. So this is definitely a lens for you video guys out there as well. In general, I guess in terms of usability, I definitely don't really have any complaints. It's just like any other Fuji lenses. It's really that good. In terms of bokeh, this lens produces too it is really good and creamy and the images are tack sharp as for chromatic aberrations and barrel distortion this lens handles it really well too low light is good too simply because of that f1.4 it definitely adds way more light compared to the f2 lens before this anyway here are just some sample images that i managed to take and i hope you guys like some of the samples i have to show you Quick shout out to Zol, thanks so much for always following me around with the street shoots. I really do appreciate it, bro. Right then, so what's my conclusion after using this lens for a few weeks now? What do I think and who do I think should really get this lens? For me, I think this lens makes a great companion to anyone wanting a standard focal length for Fujifilm cameras. At 33 millimeters, it is definitely a useful focal length to have because it is an equivalent of 50 millimeters on a full frame camera. To me, if you have the budget for this lens, then this lens is definitely a no brainer. It's such a wonderful lens. It is super sharp. It's got wonderful bokeh. It works really 
really well in low light. I mean, what else could you ask for? I mean, it does everything so well. And it is definitely way better in terms of closest focusing distance compared to the Viltrox 33 millimeters, because I've been hearing quite a lot about that lens and its closest focusing distance being not so great. But do bear in mind, it definitely isn't immediately that affordable compared to the Viltrox. So yeah, I mean, it definitely depends on what your pocket is really like. Right, so that's it then. I hope you did find this short review helpful and useful. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a like, share and subscribe and do all those wonderful things to help my algorithm on my channel. Also, if you do feel like supporting this channel by making a small contribution, I did leave a link to my buy me a coffee in the description down below. So yeah feel free to, you know, drop me a tip there if you'd like. And also I did leave links to all the gears I use to make these videos. So do check those links out. Right then, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.